So now a couple stories about Florida women. Look, I don't want to make generalizations, but uh, if you're going to bars to meet women in Florida, be careful. I only say that because we've heard way too many times uh, that an attractive woman or two will meet a, a bar, meet a man in a bar, often in Miami. They connect, have a few drinks. The couple leaves the bar, head to her house or his hotel room. The next thing you know, he's been drugged or beaten and he's lost his watch. Mm-hmm. He's lost his money. He's lost his car, etc. This may be even more dangerous. We take you to DeLeon Springs, where Volusia County deputies got a call from a panic man who'd met a woman at a local bar the night before. We don't know his name, but he told deputies he met 29-year-old Veronica Klein last Thursday night, and the two seemingly made a connection. Mm-hmm. Veronica invited the man back to her place for a couple of more drinks, and he said, well, all right, all right. Yeah. So we don't know what they drank, but we do know that authorities say Veronica spiked the man's drink mm-hmm, mm-hmm. with Raid. Raid? <laughs> what, oh, you, you mean the... Uh, the bug spray. The bug spray, Raid? Raid! What? <laughs> yes. What? Oh, my God. That's... Raid! <laughs> You better know it. Oh, jeez. That'll kill a brother. Oh, yeah. That'll It'll make a, you sick. At kill least. a man right there. Yes. Very quickly, the man began to feel nauseous. <laughs> and pretty soon, he was vomiting. He, I don't want to make light of it. Right! <laughs> he puked for 30 minutes before he could call 911. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. During the oh, time. Oh, my God. And as he was giving his statement to deputies, he had to take timeouts to go vomit some more. So, I guess the good news is it's, you know, it's leaving his system. Mm. You know, uh, eventually the sheriff's office tracked Veronica down using canine units, so she's in jail, charged with poisoning food or drink with. Right. <laughs> Are you going to finish your drink or not? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a pansy. <laughs> I can't finish it. <laughs> oh my God, that's a classic. Great. What's Cla- her deal, man? <laughs> I don't know. Really? You could. I don't, I don't know if it was a, a venge- vengeance thing. If you know, he did. Uh, who knows? Maybe he screwed over a girlfriend of hers. Yeah, what, but, but it sounds well, like she, she's trying. To, she's not just trying to rob him. Uh, she just wanted him to be. She wanted him to be punished. Yeah. Out of commission. She could have killed him. <laughs> that could have killed, killed, killed him. Of course, it could have killed him. We've seen what it does to ants and bugs and. Bees, and yeah, no, oh, it works. Oh, it works. Yeah, I'm kills sure. bugs dead. They used to say, yeah. right? It sure did. And what was its uh, competitor? Black flag. Black flag. <laughs> yeah, I like that one too. <laughs> the flag would come out. I like that <laughs> one too. <laughs> and, and, and slap the bug. Right. They'd show it dead on TV. They didn't, they didn't care. Didn't care. <laughs> no rules. Exactly. Wow. But raid, man. I'm raid. You what? I know that's amazing. That's got to be one of the best one-word reads. That's questioning, mm. but scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bug yeah. sees it. He's like, what? what? They, once they see the can, they know. That's it. It's great. <laughs> great commercial. Oh, beautiful. Great voice on that. Yeah. Very nicely done. That's old school. Yeah, a plus. And I bet Raid outsold Black Flag 10 to 1. Don't you think? Probably. Is Black I, I would think so. Black Flag? I don't know if they're still, still around. around. I know that was yeah. <laughs> The flag would come off mm-hmm. and smash the cartoon bug. Yeah, there was... De- yeah. There was Decon, too. I don't remember if you ever used Decon. I've, I vaguely remember it. Yep. The decon ads. Yes, I remember that. That's right. And it was foregone, which I think mm. mostly was roaches. Okay. They, then there was the Roach Motel. A poor yeah. punch drunk Muhammad Ali sold that. I remember that. I it, remember that. It just breaks that. my heart when I think of that commercial. Boy, he sure did. God, that's a long time. I don't want to be living with roaches. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's right. <laughs> he'd, he'd sell Fogo. Yeah, yeah. Fogo. And he'd, yeah, he'd be standing uh, there. Yeah, I think he was in his trunks and gloves. I mean, yeah, it's like it's like a Rocky, it's like a the scene th- out of Rocky he tried to do. That's right. God, that's amazing. They probably model that off of that. If it probably was did around at the time. I bet you're right. I didn't even make the connection. Wow. Yeah. Right. yeah. So that's one right. Florida woman. Here's the other. Uh, Barbara Haverly loves a good book. Unfortunately, her love has cost her. One of her fingers. Everyone in the town of Mount Dora calls her Bo- Bobby. And Bobby began going to the same library for th- uh, 30 years ago. And she says on the afternoon of July 28, she needed to return a book. But instead of waiting in line, it was very busy that day. She decided to use the drop box. It was the last time that Bobby had 10 fingers. Wow. The swinging metal door, she said, snapped back so quickly. And she realized in an instant that... Her uh, middle uh, finger on her left hand was on the other side of the door, still holding uh, the book. Oh, it still had the book uh, in its finger. Oh, geez. 
Now, she's a registered nurse. Mm -hmm. To her credit, she did not panic. She knew there was um, blood spurting everywhere. She said, I've severed an artery. Oh, my God. So she needed to stop the bleeding as quickly as she could. She also needed her finger back. So she asked somebody to go back around. Would you mind getting my finger? Oh, my God. It's the bloody one. Oh, my God. Yeah, it should be the only one you'll see. (laughs) It's it's in the book return. (laughs) What book were you reading so I'll know which one? (laughs) I don't know, but I can't take my hand off it. (laughs) I love this book. Places in the heart. Did they uh, (laughs) retreat? She was hoping that they could reattach it. But since the doctors say the cut was so jagged and angled, Can't. the nerves were too damaged. And in fact, they actually had to remove more oh my God. to smooth over oh. what was left of her finger. Uh, now she says, well, I can't pick up my grandkids. My golf game is a wreck and I can barely do yoga. Well, certainly her golf game is gone. I mean, well, I guess you can. You play, might but... be able to adapt down the road because she's still in shock. It's been less than a month. A lot of pain. As you can probably. imagine. Pain. Uh, she has hired an attorney, but the attorney is not optimistic. Whether Dave what? is shaking his head. Yeah. Nah. The attorney says this falls into the case of sovereign immunity, meaning at a county library owned by the government, there's a limitation on the kind of claims that can be made. Well, we just so happen to have our attorney joining us next for we another do story. We should add this one on to it. And, and now to Bobby's point, he did say on the if you're outside the library, it's one thing. You mm-hmm. need to protect the books. Yeah. But she was inside. Inside the library. It should just be a slot. You don't no need kidding. the spring-loaded. Yeah. She said, if it, she said a kid would have lost a hand. Oh, my goodness. She lost a finger. Well, then you lose. You, you learn something from this. So I, lost but, what, I think there should be a lawsuit. I mean, I think she should get paid or something like that. Not going to happen. But. Paid? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not going to happen. Yeah, I do.